Hello all my beautiful little unicorns and welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time that you're on my channel, my name is Vanessa Samina and I would like to welcome you into the fam. We've got some beautiful amber burning. We've just filled out our gratitude and mindfulness journey journals. We are chilling, we are vibing, we are ready to uncover some urgent messages from your future self. Have you ever been in a situation where you wish that you could fast forward to ask your future self what to do, how how to react and what would be the right decision for you to make well my beautiful unicorn family you are in luck as today's pick a card reading is about just that so for the first part of this video i have prepared four groups that you can choose from i will introduce you to these four groups momentarily and then once you have uncovered the messages that your future self has for you within these four different groups then you can scroll back down into the description box where i have prepared future self messages for all 12 signs of the the zodiac because you guys know the unicorn mom did not come to play i like to go all out for all of my beautiful souls who support me and watch my channel because without you i wouldn't be here and i'm so grateful and thankful to each and every one of you and i want that to reflect in all of the content that i create and speaking of my love and care for each and every one of you reflecting in my content i have created a completely free pdf on how you can protect your energy with a few simple tips that are bite-sized, easy to read, understand, and implement. You can find the free PDF below. It's on my website, bowlife.com. You just add it to cart and go through checkout as you would purchasing one of my tarot decks. But it is, of course, completely free and will come at absolutely no cost to you. So once you've gone through checkout as usual, you will receive an email with the free PDF. This amber truly does smell so good, but I'm in a tiny room so i think we're gonna blow out the candle for now i'd say we have sufficiently cleansed the energy so now please allow me to introduce you to the four groups that i have prepared for you for round one of your prediction about all of the urgent messages that your future self has for you group number one corresponds to the shamanic medicine oracle cards as well as the pyrite crystal group number two corresponds to the messages from your animal spirit guides oracle cards as well as the black obsidian crystal crystal. Group number three corresponds to the spirit animal oracle deck as well as the tiger's eye crystal. And group number four corresponds to the divine animals oracle deck as well as the howlite crystal. But as already mentioned, the timestamps to all four of these groups can be found down below in the description box as well as pinned to the top of the comment section. The same goes for the zodiac signs. So just intuitively go with whichever group resonates with you. And then using tropical astrology, click your zodiac sign also known as your sun sign and then you'll be fast forwarded to the relevant portion of this video where you can receive all the messages that your future self has for you so right now i'm gonna go away make myself some tea while you have a little moment of privacy to meditate on these four groups in order to pick the right group for you so feel free to pause the video right here i would highly recommend that you just don't even overthink it go with whichever group that you intuitively feel drawn towards and I'll be back in an instant to guide you through your predictions. Okay, so by now you've hopefully been able to select from these four groups. I will be starting off with the first group, which corresponds to the Shamanic Medicine Oracle deck, as well as the Pyrite Crystal. So if this is the group that you chose for part one of your prediction, then please continue watching. And to all of my other lovely groups, as well as Signs of the Zodiac, I will catch you at the click of your timestamp. Hello, group number one, and welcome to your reading. You chose the Shamanic Medicine Oracle deck in connectivity to the pyrite, the close-up. You guys always know I do a little close-up of all the crystals before we get into the reading. This is the pyrite. It's also known as the Fool's Gold, and this is a crystal that is said to attract material wealth, prosperity, and just overall good fortune. So you may have already intuitively felt that or felt drawn to that because that's just the wavelength you're on right now, group number one, but maybe you also liked its appearance. Either way, let's get into your reading to figure out what messages you can't miss from your future self right now. So first up, we've got the shapeshifter. One thing that your future self is trying to urgently tell you is that it's okay for you to change your mind. That doesn't make you a hypocrite. Let's just start right there. 
full stop, take that in group one. Furthermore, in the shapeshifter, your future self is also trying to remind you that it's okay to see things from a different perspective if that really helps you just get through the day, right? If you have been ghosted by someone or you are being treated unfairly at work, for example, don't see it as a personal attack, but change your perspective and remind yourself that it has less to do with you and more to do with the other person. Like for example, a work colleague may be jealous of you or may be insecure about their own performance and therefore they're maybe not treating you in the manner that they should. And if you've been ghosted by someone who you were thinking you were interested in, maybe they're just not emotionally available. So shifting the perspective can really change it all for you. I see here with an air that your future self is trying to communicate to you that that your creativity right now could also benefit from a shift in perspective and not being hard on your creativity like you maybe usually are. Seeing your art as beautiful, even if it's unconventional, or even if it's the type of art that you've never seen praised to the degree that you dream of your art and creativity being praised. And creativity doesn't have to be necessarily like painting or anything like that. Creativity could also be how you solve problems at your job and in your business, how you solve issues with other people that is creativity too. It's not just always creating masterpieces in a Picasso or Van Gogh kind of sense, right? In the sacred site, I can see here that your purpose is tightly intertwined and connected with being flexible enough to shift your perspective, just as we spoke about in the shapeshifter, and also be really creative about how you rephrase things in order to just make life easier easier for you. I mean, at the end of the day, it doesn't actually matter whether you take in someone else's negativity or whether you see it as their own insecurity. I mean, at the end of the day, all that actually matters is that what you're doing serves you. So if you're turning a situation where you're confronted with an unfriendly person into you actually having compassion for them rather than letting them make you feel down or letting them put you in an emotionally uncomfortable position, then why not? You know, why allow anyone to have power over you and your existence, group number one, when you can simply switch the narrative and the perspective to a way that suits you and lets you just sleep at night in the most calm way possible? We've got abundance. Out of all the cards in this deck, we spoke about the pyrite, right? And how that is, in fact, the crystal of abundance, group number one. We have that confirmed here as the abundance card showed up for you. So your future self wants to communicate to you that you already live an abundant life. That's why we've got the shapeshifter. Even the fact that you have an internet connection, that you have a device on which you're listening to this reading and watching this, that puts you in a very fortunate percentage of the human population. And just think to even be alive in this day and age where we can share with people across the globe, people we've never even met in person before. That in itself is abundance. And if you can be grateful for what's already in your life, you will find so many things flock so easily towards you that have to do with more abundance, with an increase in material abundance, but also spiritual abundance. Next up, we've got stop. Okay, so I can see here for you that your future self is also trying to get you to stop seeing your wealth or your abundance from a perspective that doesn't serve you. So there's still something going on here for you, group one that is just not helpful to you at all. Maybe you are impressed by certain people flexing their wealth on Instagram or you scroll through different posts and you wish that your life was as out there or seemingly as luxurious as some of the things that you see on social media. Whatever the case is, your future self is trying to get you to stop and to disrupt that. So whenever you're reaching for your phone or you're reaching for something that you know doesn't make you feel the best after you've engaged with it, 
just find a way to not even go as far as to be on that platform and that's one thing that i personally have for example noticed with tiktok i never really feel good after i've taken in any of the content on there because a lot of content that is maybe helpful or semi-educational or entertaining is mixed in with things that just are a little bit toxic to me, whether it's promoting unhealthy eating patterns and habits, under eating, also different beauty standards that are just super unattainable, different standards of living that are just so wasteful and unattainable that I just found there's literally no point for me to even get suckered into that. I just stay away from it completely. Every now and then I'm going to post something on my TikTok page for my unicorns, my fans, and my subscribers, but I stay away from my explore feed and I don't even scroll through it. I don't even use it because I know I have to disrupt even getting into the loop in order to not be in a place where... I am actually feeling bad about myself and lacking gratitude for the abundance that's already in my life because I've now been put in a position where my focus and my attention is being used not to make me feel better, but to make me feel more insecure. And that's just how I feel about that platform in particular. So that's just my example for you, group number one, but you maybe feel that way about something similar in your life too. The seven of acorns shows me that your future self is trying to remind you here that with enough determination and enough willpower, you can stop any unhelpful habit that's keeping you from just being grateful for what already exists in your life and then therefore attracting more. It's no secret that the more grateful that you can be, the more abundance you can attract into your life. The high priestess is all about your intuition and sacred knowledge and honoring that. And I can definitely see that in order to connect with your intuition, being creative is the best thing that you can do. So for example, painting is of course something you can do whether you feel you're good at it or not, just to unleash some creativity and intuition. And that will also just allow you to be in your zone and really feel into your body. The tower shows me that you are in dire need of some release, of some letting go. Whether that be just, you know, kicking something as in going boxing and just throwing a couple punches or just going to the top of a deserted mountain and screaming maybe for you release and letting go also has to do with finally telling someone the truth about how they've made you feel and the fact that that's maybe not something you want in your life moving forward as i see here within the queen of feathers that the truth is what will set you free and it's also important for you to be truthful and speak the truth that's what your future self has to say to you in order to be at peace with yourself to not feel like you're putting up with a lot of things that you don't want to put up with just because you're trying to not hurt someone else's feelings and just because you're trying to be polite i see in the arrow that surrounding yourself with protective energy at this point in time is the best thing that you can do and and also just preparing yourself for discussion. So your future self is trying to communicate to you that rather than going into any business meetings or discussions with people whom you work with unprepared, try to already think ahead of what they might say and already have some answers prepared for difficult questions or just difficult situations that may arise. The eagle shows me that seeing things from that higher perspective, so envisioning you talking to your boss or a coworker, just someone overall with whom your relationship can sometimes be a little tense or can be anxiety invoking. Think of yourself as being like almost playing God, like you're looking at the room in which you will be talking and conversing with that person from the top, from a bird's eye view, and just looking at yourself and going through what type of body language you'd like to display, what you would like to have on hand as responses, especially if someone is likely to trigger you. It can be so helpful to prepare yourself and to do this little role play game ahead of time. That's what your future self is trying to communicate to you and trying to put forth as a little piece of advice. The spirit fox shows me here that it's time for you to trust your talents in these changes 
challenging times, group number one, especially if you have been skeptical of yourself and your capabilities. I see in the magic guardian that all you have to do is unlock them at times because sometimes your anxiety can just kind of hold you hostage and kind of keep you away from truly embracing all of your talents and all the things that you are so amazing at and you don't give yourself enough credit for the times where you do get things right so that's what your future self would have you focusing on right now next up we've got the elder group one the elder shows me that you're moving beyond ancestral patterns you're breaking some habits from the past okay from people within your bloodline so maybe your grandparents or your parents uh, suffered from addiction or suffered from being unable to follow their dreams maybe because it was politically uh, impossible for them or they just financially weren't able to do it they were maybe restricted due to time and maybe physical capabilities mental capabilities the elder shows me here that you're moving beyond that and creating kind of a new path and also a completely new legacy for your family and the patterns that run within your ancestral realms the earth guardian shows me that your future self wants to communicate to you that in any event stay rooted and stay grounded don't let anyone make you feel uneasy or anxious don't give anyone that power especially when it comes to work and when it comes to your professional life that's probably the worst thing you could do right now so listen to your future self group number one and also plan a vacation now because just telling yourself that you need time away or telling yourself that you need a break is absolutely not the same as actually taking a vacation and a break and you need it your future self can see that you're getting to this point where if you don't plan a vacation and take a break things may look ugly and deep breathing is important for you right now so not only breath work exercises but just also being in your body meditating i just published a guided meditation it's 10 minutes but it's so powerful with some visualization in it you can check it out on my channel i'll also link it below group number one for you where you can just also focus on your breathing be in your body and feel into what it's like to be fully present so group one this is part one of your prediction i hope you enjoyed this leave a little coin emoji below in the comment section if you made it to the end of your prediction furthermore you always ask me where i get my rings from so before i get into the zodiac portion of yours all of my rings um i'm wearing some moonstone pieces let me zoom in we've got moonstone we've got rose quartz these are all from bowlife.com which is my online store everything ships from switzerland and i'll leave that linked below so i don't want to see any questions about my jewelry just focus on your reading and if you're still interested in my decks or my jewelry you know where to find it below so group one thank you for being here but now scroll down into the description box click your zodiac sign and i will bring you part two of your prediction about all the urgent messages that your future self has for you so i'll catch you during your zodiac signs reading hello group number two and welcome to your reading about the urgent messages that your future self has for you we've got the messages from your animal spirit guides in order to guide you this is the deck that you chose as well as the black obsidian crystal the close-up you know that this is what we do at the start of all these predictions where crystals are involved this is the beautiful black obsidian that you chose this is a very protective stone it is said to absorb negative energies as well as help kind of prevent you from having your energy field messed with through electromagnetic frequencies so just overall this is a great stone to keep on a desk when you are using laptops or mobile devices and it's also an amazing stone to wear so we have this card that popped right out of the pile i'll put a little replay here in case you missed it group number two let's get into it the panda brings the first urgent message from your future self which is all about creating a sacred space for yourself in your home and or place of work 
We literally just spoke about how this is an amazing stone for you to wear or keep in a space where you're working to just overall protect you. So see this as a sign, a symbol for you to add some protective stones or ornaments into your living space in order to make it as safe as it possibly can be. And just to feel protected, to feel like you have some support around you, even if you can't always have another person making you feel supported there are ways in which you can kind of give yourself that nurturing that you need by just making a beautiful space for yourself next up we've got the elk the elk is all about your future self trying to tell you to stand tall and maintain your dignity no matter what others will treat you with the respect that you deserve once you do that and that is the important message behind this group number two. Your future self sees here that you are sometimes a little shy to stand tall. Maybe even right now you're kind of in a slouch position, your back, your spine isn't really elongated. You feel like you kind of have to keep your head down in many situations. And that may be something that you learned from childhood upwards if you had traumatic experiences or if you were just overall in situations in which you were taught that keeping your head down is safest so it's very understandable but nevertheless here in the zebra your future self is trying to urgently encourage you to let go of your fear and know that you're safe and protected at all times so all of these spirit animals are definitely coming to you guiding you to be confident and know that you are safer than you give yourself credit for and that there's nothing to fear or worry about the weasel brings you the message from your future self of paying attention and being silent simply observing with your eyes ears and your physical feelings what is happening inside and all around you so especially when you feel anxiety levels rising or you're afraid to step up Sometimes it's also good for you to just take a little moment to make a game plan before you actually do stand tall and maintain your opinion and just allow for yourself to keep your dignity in a spot that you're comfortable with. Paying attention and simply observing can sometimes just remind you of the fact that a situation isn't as daunting as it seems and your future self wants to give you this gift of understanding how being in the present moment and being mindful can really change your confidence levels especially in challenging situations the meerkat brings the message of getting support from a trusted group of like-minded friends and individuals so your future self sees that there are ways in which you can and be supported, feel supported, and know that you're a part of a community that really cherishes you and cares about you. But you can only do so if you're open enough to expressing that you may need support and that you may be in a situation where support is what will take you to the next level. So don't feel like a burden for needing a little bit of emotional support, maybe even financial support, group number two. Your future self is trying to tell you to be honest about these things as quickly as possible so you don't allow for feelings of embarrassment or uncertainty to slow you down because sometimes we just have to let others know what we're going through so they can help us and we can continue on moving towards our next goals so next up we've got the sage the sage shows me here that your future self wants you to really devote your time and energy to something specific with no excuses now group number two this is a really important character trait I'd say you know to be disciplined and to be devoted and committed to some cause in your life or some type of activity whether that be your morning routine for me that is waking up at 5 a.m recently and making sure i work out making sure i get myself ready for the day ahead of time so i'm not rushing through my days and for me that magical hour is 5 a.m but for you being devoted and committed could be for example taking a walk every evening it could be drinking a gallon of water every single day 
it really depends on what you need mentally but also physically and it's up to you to decide what is meaningful to you for someone who for example works out every day anyways it may not be a challenge to prioritize that or to be committed to that but for me and i know many others it is not easy so it is a variable that is different from person to person and it is such an individual thing don't feel like you have to limit yourself to what society tells you to be devoted and committed towards next up we've got the guardian angel which is a symbol of not being alone if you've made it to this point and you're part of group number two leave a little feather emoji below in the comment section if you don't have a feather emoji simply just comment feather in all caps and i'll know that you were in group two so this shows that you're not alone at all even if you thought that you had to go through a lot of things in your life by yourself without any support group number two there are more people rooting for you than you're aware of and in the snake we've got an ancient symbol of not only shedding old skin but transformation rebirth and renewal i feel like it's more of a recent thing i'd say that snakes are symbolic of a lot of people being fearful or you know venom being there painful bites things like that but in a lot of cultures and historically snakes have actually been worshipped in many places around the globe and do stand for a rebirth and a transformation that is a positive one and that is one thing that we've got here as a message from your future self shedding your old skin and transformation this is all happening in the most positive way and i see here within the two of shells that this is actually creating a safe space for another person it's almost like a safe container in which romantic love can flourish thrive and blossom for you group number two the two of shells shows union shows harmony just like we have here with these two what seem to be doves or pigeons just these beautiful birds and the two of shells definitely shows mutual respect and a type of relationship with another person who just gets you and understands you and is there to hold space for you the eight of crystals shows me progress in this area of your life so the urgent message that your future self has for you here group two is to not worry so much about what the next steps are in your romantic life but instead to rest assured that progress is taking place even if you can't always see all the progress right on the surface there are definitely things happening behind the scenes in your life and there's definitely a lot going on romantically that is still going to reveal itself as time passes by as the three of shells shows me that right now your friendships and just being open about your needs is the best thing that you can do for yourself your future self is first trying to get you to be open with friends and family who are really close to you and letting them know what you need emotionally physically spiritually asking for support and getting over that feeling of being a burden because sometimes it can be really hard to just say what you really want or need or you may even play it off or say that you want the exact opposite just to kind of not open yourself up in that way because you're afraid of being hurt or you're afraid of being the only one in the relationship who feels that way so your future self is kind of putting you through this little training camp if you will where opening up to friends and family is the first stage and once you've been able to do that and once you have kind of let your walls fall and you're more open and unafraid about being hurt that is when you can access this space of being in a devoted romantic relationship which can make it even more scary to open up about what you want right a lot of people are very open with their friends and family about what they desire but when it comes to a romantic partner especially a new one it can be hard to say what you really want because of course you don't want to scare them away which is why you're getting some great practice with platonic relationships first and that will also show you how you can playfully express your emotions and your needs without feeling like you're being demanding the eight of acorns reverse is what we've got next so in this beautiful deck the suit of acorns corresponds to the element of fire and the eight of acorns here stands for energy 
as well as results. So do know here that the more that you devote your time towards being open-minded about your needs, first of all, then being open to sharing it with friends and family, then actually carrying that over into romantic relationships, you will find that your confidence levels will increase and your belief in yourself as well. You won't feel so much like you're a burden or you're asking for too much. You will come to this understanding that if you can't speak openly about your dreams, but also your needs with those closest to you, then maybe the relationship just wasn't as deep as you thought it could be. And you will be able to see different people from different lights and perspectives. For example, I have had some friends for a very long time or known them for a very long time, but I can't open up to those friends as much as I can to some new ones, which I have been fortunate enough to meet through oracle cards, tarot cards and decks and just everything that has to do with the divine, with magic. And it can be really quite eye-opening how the length of a relationship does not determine its depth whatsoever. So group number two, this is the first part of your prediction that I've received for you but now scroll down into the description box click your zodiac sign and you'll be fast forwarded to part two to receive even more detail about the urgent messages that your future self has prepared for you so make sure you do that and i'll catch you during your zodiac signs portion of your reading Hello, group number three, and welcome to your reading about the urgent messages that your future self has for you. You chose the Spirit Animal Oracle deck as well as the Tiger's Eye Crystal. Let's get straight into the close-up. The veterans of my channel will know that first up, we always do a close-up of the crystal of your choice. So honestly, my filming lighting does not even do this beautiful stone justice because it glistens in this beautiful honey color every time the light hits it and the tiger's eye crystal is just overall a really multifaceted type of stone that not only brings support but also allows you to express yourself freely let's move into your reading to figure out exactly what urgent messages are here for you right now and what we can learn today from the universe so we've got the bobcat spirit we've got the peacock spirit the fox spirit as well as the bat spirit okay first up in the bobcat spirit let's talk about okay we have another card that clearly wants to speak which is the white raven spirit let's get into it with the bobcat spirit um life is a mystery is one thing that your future self wants to relay to you as a message and with the white raven spirit that kind of wanted to pop right out of the pile as we began talking about the bobcat spirit we have this notion that it's important for you to simply trust in the magic there are many inexplicable things in this world and science sometimes just kind of says well it isn't proven so it's probably just made up but at the same time science is based on the fact that it can take years and years to research things, to prove things. So just because we haven't been able to scientifically prove what coincidences mean, for example, what synchronicities mean, what numbers mean, that doesn't mean that there isn't more there, if you know what I mean. That doesn't mean that this is the end of knowledge. If everybody on planet Earth stopped asking questions and researching 20 years ago, then of course, in order for new truths to be uncovered and to be proven on a scientific level, we need to continue to be inquisitive and we need to continue to ask questions, but also to just remember that a big chunk of life will most likely also remain a mystery in our lifetimes. In the peacock spirit, I can see here that your future self wants to remind you of just allowing yourself to shine and not feeling like you have to be afraid of showing up as your best self anywhere. So regardless of whether you know what the next steps are in your life, whether you're getting that promotion, whether financial security is coming towards you or not, it's important for you to not feel like a fraud for showing up looking your best, even though maybe another area of your life is in shambles. Don't feel guilty for feeling your best when showing up to a get together, a gathering, something that has nothing to do with an area of your life that is difficult. Don't feel bad showing up feeling or looking like a rock star, even though another area of your life is maybe in shambles. 
just because, for example, your finances are in a difficult spot or your love life isn't where you want it to be doesn't mean that it has to affect your entire existence across the board of your life. The Fox Spirit shows me that it's important for you to be smart and think on your feet. After all, it doesn't make sense just because one area of your life is causing some major challenges to let that affect all other areas of your life just as for example if you were to have an infection in one area of your body you would do everything you could to prevent it from spreading so why don't we do the same mentally why is it that if we have an issue in one area of our life and it's causing a lot of anxiety that we let that spread to the rest of our existence or be a part of every waking moment even when we're trying to enjoy Enjoy time away from the issues? That's an important question I feel like we need to ask ourselves and also be honest to ourselves about because only like that will we be able to embrace what we've got in the bat spirit, which is all about a rebirth. And your future self is trying to communicate to you that learning to compartmentalize pain and suffering in some instances can really help you see life from a completely new and fresh perspective and can help you see the glass as half full in a lot of areas of your life that you maybe don't even realize are awesome just because you're so busy worried about something that's on your mind 24 7. next up we've got the dove spirit it will also bring you more peace so the more you're able to kind of let go of feeling like one thing that isn't going well has to be all consuming in your existence the more you'll be able to enjoy the moments that are perfect and that are amazing and just feel at peace with your life and your existence because you know that while we all go through difficulties and some degree of suffering you don't constantly need to allow for challenges to be part of your mind to live in your mind rent free because after all, you decide what you put your focus on and you decide whether you evict situations that aren't helpful from your mind altogether. Next up, we've got anxiety. So group number three, an important message that your future self has for you is to try to work on anxiety levels, to try to work on a very busy mind. I see that here in connectivity to the fox spirit. And it can take a little bit of practice and time to get used to meditation, for example, or the practice of yoga. But trust me, it is truly transformative and it can help you channel movement to the areas that matter. Because when you're very anxious and your mind is racing about a work project or about what you're gonna do next in your personal life or financially how you're gonna overcome difficulties difficulties you're channeling a lot of your energy into the issues right into the anxiety rather than channeling that movement into creativity and into finding a way out so rewiring and relearning how you can put your energy where it matters most and can help you the most is an important message that your future self brings to you and the only way that you can do this is through introspection and through becoming aware that you're even guilty of this, right? That you're even guilty of channeling maybe a lot of your energy into overthinking rather than doing. If you've ever been in a situation, group three, where you have an exam and you spend more time talking about how big and daunting and scary the exam is rather than studying, or you spend more time kind of announcing, oh, I need to study, I need to do this and that, but the actual study time time is a lot less than you continue to announce it, then if you're really honest with yourself, what you will realize is that the core issue is the anxiety, it is the fear, and it is the fact that you've built the task up to be way bigger than it actually is. So try to come up with creative ways of how you can overcome this once you've reflected and once you've been really honest with yourself about the fact that maybe you do this maybe procrastination is something that you can be guilty of and it's not anything to be ashamed of group number three we all do this we're all guilty of this but if we can find creative ways to overcome it and to not let it stress us out and cause anxiety 
then we can really thrive and kind of compartmentalize stressors as being stressors and that's a box that you only open and work on when you feel ready to and other more enjoyable parts of life such as spending time with friends and family that can be held safe and sacred because you open that box whenever you want to open that box so being in control of yourself on a mental level is definitely going to bring you a lot of freedom and alleviate a lot of your anxiety. Next up in the urgent messages that your future self has for you for the first part of your prediction, group number three, your ancestors know something about you that you have yet to figure out. And we're most likely going to uncover some of these truths during the second part of your prediction, which is based on your zodiac sign. So after you've received this first part, make sure you scroll back down into the description box and click your zodiac sign to be fast forwarded to that but let's just see what area of life this has to do with we've got the dream weaver so this clearly has to do with the accessibility of your dreams and your ancestors can see here that there are some things that you've made up to be a lot larger and more daunting in your head than they actually are in real life and that actually the accessibility of your dreams is a lot closer to you than you realize just think about it our ancestors in the past have dreamt about things such as crossing and sailing oceans and discovering new lands and being able to be healthy and safe and this is all a lot more accessible in today's day and age than it ever has been in the past so in the past your ancestors may have dreamt of for example flying like hundreds of years ago that could have been a dream and the accessibility just wasn't really there but in this day and age, if you dream of traveling, of flying somewhere, it is way more accessible than it ever has been. So remind yourself that we live in such an interesting, fruitful time to be alive, where it's also possible for you to create health, abundance, and wealth with a lot more ease than it ever has been. You have a lot more tools available to you as a human being in 2022, 2023, 2050. I mean, whenever you're watching this video, know that your future self is trying to remind you that anything you want to learn is out there for free. If only you take the time and energy out of your day to look for it and to dedicate time towards it. So group three, this is the first part of your reading that I've received for you. Let me know down below in the description box how you like this first part, but make sure that you click your zodiac sign to be fast forwarded to part two of your prediction. And I'll catch you over there to finish off your urgent messages from your future self. Hello, group number four, you chose the divine animals oracle as well as the howlite in order to guide you through your prediction. This is the beautiful howlite. I absolutely love this stone. I always have. You guys will know that even years ago, I was raving about the stone. This is a stone that brings really calm and tranquil energy to you. This is a beautiful stone that helps you ground yourself. So you may have been drawn to that energy of this stone, but maybe you just also loved its marble-esque type of appearance. However, let's now move into your prediction in order to figure out all of the important messages that your future self urgently needs to get to you right now. So let's get into it. We've got the jackal as well as the dog. So I can see here that a lot of truths are going to be revealed to you about your relationships, group number four, because the jackal is all about revealing truth and the dog speaks of companionship, right? Of those close relationships where you feel as though you can open up, where you feel completely safe, but sometimes those relationships can take a little bit of a difficult twist when one of the people in the relationship is just not being 100% honest or holding back some truths that really actually need to be revealed. Okay, those cards popped right out of the pile. I'll put a little instant replay for you right here so that you can view how these cards really forcefully actually popped out of our pile of cards and clearly have something to say. So in the armadillo, first and foremost, your future self has this message for you that the more you can just ground yourself, the more the situation will be unable to stress you out. So know here within the jackal and the armadillo that whether you receive the truth from someone or not, 
you cannot let that affect your inner peace because that means that you would be completely giving your personal power away. If your inner peace depends on someone else being complicit with your plans or being honest with you, then you will forever lead a bothered life. I'm sorry to say group number four, but it is the truth, which is exactly why your future self is trying to tell you to cut the cords and the ties to any of your inner peace and tranquility having to do with another person's performance. Next up, we've got the sea turtle. Now, the sea turtle is a symbol of stability and of finding that tranquility. This is very interesting as you did choose the howlite as the crystal of your choice, which shows that stability, peace, inner calm, that is an important thing that your future self needs to talk to you about group number four and that you must become aware is to a very, very, very large extent your responsibility. Next up, we've got the snow leopard. Be very watchful and mindful of who you surround yourself with and remind yourself that the more you hang out with people who don't have that stability, who are not emotionally in a place where they are independent, the more that may rub off on you, especially as you're figuring out what you want to do with your life and if you've come from a household where you've grown up with a parent who is very codependent or maybe siblings who are very childish compared to you uh, being the mature one those circumstances and that type of experience in a young life can definitely kind of shape how confident you are as an adult and can make it difficult for you to be confident once you're all grown up i can see within the orca that family is definitely important but it's also essential for us to watch out to observe the patterns within our family whether that is for example lying whether that is overspending whether that's just being abusive physically or emotionally to romantic partners, being very clear and real about the tendencies within your own family and lineage, and then trying to work on not perpetuating those same type of patterns within your own life. That is the only way that you can really find that inner peace and stability because being honest, first and foremost, will allow you to even see what's going on or what you urgently need to address next up we've got the soul retrieval card which shows me here that reclaiming yourself and reclaiming the fact that yeah you may come from a certain background ethnically or culturally but that doesn't mean that you have to follow the same patterns if they were toxic and or unhealthy is a very powerful kind of awakening or piece of enlightenment that your future self sees you taking part in so realizing that just because maybe your culture puts people in a box, puts women in a box, or puts people with different skin tones or different physical needs or disabilities in boxes that they can never come out of, that doesn't mean that you have to perpetuate that same thing. You can completely reclaim your confidence and have the soul retrieval take place where you free yourself from constraints of a society that in many ways was definitely developed to protect and in order for the people who are fit to thrive and to be able to procreate and keep the species alive but at the same time in this day and age a lot of tradition and a lot of this type of conservative mindset is actually more detrimental and harmful because people who were born with privilege naturally or people who are able-bodied don't need to be protected as much as we must protect those who have their own fair share of unique struggles and just kind of like alienating anything that is different and maybe even feeling bad about parts of yourself group number four that are different or that don't align with society standards or your family standards that is definitely not helping you. So your future self wants you to be really real with yourself about the fact that a lot of the feelings of guilt about your body or your accomplishments, that's not actually something that you created for yourself. It's actually something that you were kind of born into and a situation that you were 
placed into without your consent. But the good news is that what you can do is without other people's consent, take yourself away from any type of toxicity that that may have created for you. Fire shows me that your future self is trying to communicate to you that passion is everything. So if you passionately want to break or end a type of generational pattern and way of living that doesn't serve you or those around you, you can. Don't be afraid to express the need for that. Water is a symbol of expression and emotion. And just overall, being very real and unafraid about whatever that expression may look like. Being truthful about what you need and what you want to reject. I see that in connectivity to the jackal. So if you want to reject, for example, what marriage traditionally looks like in your culture or in your family, you will have to express yourself. You will have to reclaim the fact that this is your life and you don't have to adhere to everything that your family, your culture, or your society wants you to adhere to to have a place in this world because a lot of us are afraid to break the norm or do something that is deemed different or deemed not normal because we're afraid that that will take away our birthright to be in a society, to be an active member, to be allowed to take up space and exist and also still have friends and family and a social life and a career because society has definitely done a great job at perpetuating this belief and also kind of proving it many times that people who are different may end up losing it all and not even having friends or family support them. So that kind of keeps us in a state of fear and in a state of compliance. But your future self is telling you to break that, to remind yourself here that Mother Earth has space and capacity for all of us and that there will always be a safe part of this planet to which you can retreat to there will always be another person who feels the way you do group number four because feeling alone in whatever you're going through is probably one of the hardest things but remind yourself that with 8 billion people on this planet there's bound to be another person who feels the same way you do. I see here within the star ancestor that when you are in a space of feeling like solitude is kind of scary and it's become too much, follow the voice of your soul because sometimes we have certain calls that are inexplicable but are there. Have you ever felt like you just need to travel to a certain place or you just need to try something new and then you end up having an amazing experience or meeting a new person that you didn't expect to connect with at all that's the voice of your soul that is your soul calling you to do something that you just can't really explain why you need to do it but you know that there's this urge there and following your soul following whatever it is that you feel called to do will take you to exactly where you need to be and will give you all the freedom to express yourself because you're most likely going to be able to form connections with people who understand you and people who are going through the same situation as you follow your soul and you put yourself in new environments and situations where you can do things differently and meet different people. I see here within frustration that your future self is warning you about becoming frustrated and feeling as though things take too long. Here in connectivity to the armadillo as well as the star ancestor and the jackal, you're being called to understand that the truth is just that some things will take time. It may take time for you to find a new friend circle or a romantic lover who really understands you and gets you right at the core of who you are. Yes, of course, it may take time for you to save money to follow the voice of your soul, especially if that entails traveling somewhere, maybe even doing a ritual in a distant country with other people or signing up for a retreat, but don't get frustrated and remind yourself that 
anything worthwhile is usually something that we've had to work for. Next up, we've got reflection. So for the last card of the first part of your reading, group number four in reflection, your future self brings you this important message that there's a lot of self-reflection that can be done right now that you've maybe been procrastinating or avoiding that will put you in a spot that is a little difficult that may make it really obvious that you are very different from your family or your ancestors in a way that may make you feel out of place but that's okay remind yourself that those who were able to live a life that was free those who made an impact a profound impact were usually different or usually the types of people who were not afraid to express where they are different to others but at the same time still draw similarities between those they care most about so for you group number four a big part of the urgent messages that your future self has for you is to find balance in being yourself and also knowing that that doesn't take away from you still having a spot on this planet you still deserving to be here you having a place in this lifetime you being different doesn't take away from that whatsoever. If anything, it adds to your importance and the importance of this lifetime of expression. So group number four, this is the first part of your reading that I've received for you. Make sure that you now scroll down into the description box, click your zodiac sign, and we'll be fast forwarded to the second and even more intimate and spicy, juicy part of your urgent messages from your future self so we can get into more detail. Thank you so much for being here, group number four, and I'll speak to you during part two of your prediction. Hello, all my beautiful Aries babies, and welcome to the Zodiac portion of your prediction. I hope that you liked part one, but now let's continue into figuring out what all my beautiful Aries babies urgently need to hear from their future self right now. So let's move straight into it, shall we? Lean back, relax, and enjoy part two of this highly personalized prediction so first up we've got the bull the cat and the wolf so this is a really great combination let me tell you why my beautiful Aries babies because the bull is all about sacrifices and on its own that may seem daunting right like what type of sacrifice do you need to make now but here in connectivity to the cat as well as the wolf we have this notion from your future self that you should intuitively make sacrifices so you know exactly in which areas of your life you have to make sacrifices. Now, whether you have made those yet or not, or you're kind of procrastinating it, that's not what this is about, my beautiful Aries babies. It's all about the urgent message that your future self has for you, that the more you follow your intuition and make sacrifices in a way that feels right for you, the more you will grow into your most authentic self. And that's exactly what the wolf stands for. So bear in mind here that if you're not happy with how your organization is in life or where you are financially you will have to make sacrifices you will either have to find a way to generate more income for yourself or you will have to live more frugally maybe you even want to do some sort of approach of the two but regardless of what you choose your future self urgently is trying to tell you to make sacrifices based on where your intuition is calling you to make changes and potentially also just follow a more authentic route to becoming the best version of yourself if you feel like your authenticity isn't quite where you'd like it to be the great mystery is a symbol of trust and also kind of trusting in the fact that these sacrifices are going to pay themselves off tenfold Fold. I think that's a big thing that a lot of us struggle with why we don't make sacrifices in a timely manner because there isn't really a guarantee that tells you that the sacrifice will yield any sort of reward or bring you any compensation be it emotionally or financially but your future self urgently wants you to trust in the fact that your intentions are what is going to lead you to success and your intentions are definitely going to to be able to manifest into your reality if only you put yourself into getting to where you want to go fully okay so there's no 
one foot in, one foot out, make the sacrifices and go with it. Whether it's just saying to yourself that you're not purchasing a coffee every single morning on your way to work and you're making your own coffee or you're going to work out every single day in order to train yourself to be more disciplined. You name it, all my Aries babies, your future self wants you to stop procrastinating and start hitting hard where things really matter in your life we've got the drum so speaking of hitting hard making sound waves right making waves and changes the drum is all about awakening so an urgent message that your future self has for you is that the more things seem like a struggle and the more you resist the more likely these changes are actually going to lead to a different state of mind you kind of refraining from your usual state of mind and awakening to a completely new self. Death confirms just that, my beautiful Aries babies. I just had to catch my breath for a second because these cards are so wildly accurate and speak so effortlessly as the death card is not about literal death. It is about the end of a cycle, the end of a version of yourself. And it is about transformation when the death card shows up. So that is exactly what your future self is urgently trying to tell you. You're at another crossroads in your life where it's time for transformation and it's time for you to be courageous and to confront yourself and the areas of your life that you've been procrastinating or where you've been reluctant to make sacrifices because you're unsure whether those sacrifices will actually pay off. Next up, we've got family for you. Your future self urgently wants you to remember that you always got family to lean on and to fall back on despite what you're going through. Don't underestimate the power of family, whether those are blood-related family or chosen family. It is all so valid and also the power of making a vision board. Believe it or not, when it comes to manifestation, creating a vision board and some sort of visual reminder that you can look at every single day is a huge help in putting your mind subconsciously up for the challenge and the task. We also had this card that kind of very cheekily popped out of the pile. I'll put a little replay in right here. In case you missed seeing this card pop out of the pile, there you go. Um, so having fun as well as focusing on physical pleasure is what your future self urgently wants to tell you. And if you don't have a goal board, a vision board, a manifestation board, I strongly recommend that you create one for yourself. I actually do have a video of creating a manifestation board together with my husband on my channel. So feel free to check that out, my beautiful Aries babies, as it may serve as a great source of inspiration of what you may want to put on your manifestation board. So these are the messages that your future self has for you that you urgently needed to hear. I hope that you found this reading insightful and that it hit home and made sense to you. Let me know down below, my beautiful Aries babies. Don't forget to leave a little lion emoji below in the comment section to let me and others know that you were here. Thank you for spending this divine time and space with me, and I'll catch you during one of my upcoming predictions. Hello, my beautiful Taurus babies, and welcome to the second and even more personalized part of your prediction. So we're going to figure Figure out what urgent messages that your future self has for you immediately. So lean back, relax, and enjoy part two of your highly personalized prediction. I hope you enjoyed part one, but this is a little more detailed. So in the squirrel spirit, we've got believing in yourself. If there is someone or a reason why you haven't been able to believe in yourself, think a teacher, a boss, coworker, or parent who has kind of told you that they don't think you'll be able to accomplish your dreams, it's time for you to take detours from even being around that person. Avoid those type of energetic entities as much as you possibly can. That's what I see here within the coyote spirit. And remind yourself here that the more you kind of avoid anything that chisels away at your confidence and belief in yourself, the more you will actually be able to enjoy miracles in your life that 
you partially did not expect because your mind is not wandering off into the territory of asking yourself whether you're good enough, smart enough, whether you're capable. No, you're simply focusing on what you can do and you're simply focusing on what you believe in yourself when you surround yourself with the right people. And I mean people who have this type of energy of being supportive, of never saying never, and of not telling you what you can or cannot accomplish accomplish in your lifetime because they know that the wildest things are possible when you believe in yourself. Let's move further into your reading though. We've got companionship. So you're meant to have people in your life. Don't feel as though you have to cancel everyone out, X everyone out of your life. Even if you do have a lot of people who don't have the type of mindset that supports you in making miracles come true for yourself, that doesn't mean that you can't still meet amazing people along the way. I myself have been able to meet such beautiful souls just through the journey of uploading and posting tarot content on YouTube and being a creator. And I am sure you can meet people as well through joining maybe local groups when it comes to different projects, whether it be work projects, there may be a local women empowerment group, women in business, business group. Maybe if that is not the right group for you, maybe you just join a group of people who like to meditate. These are all just examples, of course, but the more specific, the better, and the more you feel like you'll find people on the same wavelength, the higher the likelihood of you meeting a companion, be it romantic or someone who is just there to uplift you and you do the same for them. So almost like a buddy with whom you can hold yourself accountable. The wolf shows me that your authenticity is what your future self would tell you to fully embrace right now. You're not being 100% authentic, my beautiful Taurus babies. Maybe you're keeping a lot of your feelings bottled up or you're just not able to express yourself the way that would serve you the most and often we don't even realize that this is going on but sometimes you just need a little nudge from your future self reminding you that you can be a little bit more extroverted or you can put your feelings out there just a little more and it's okay you're not necessarily going to get hurt if that's what you're worried about next up we've got the peacock now the peacock is a amazing symbol for you to receive as it stands for prosperity. The peacock is all about not only leading a prosperous life, but also reminding yourself here that when you believe in yourself, everything feels like prosperity, whether it's a simple meal that you just had or you're planning on having, or whether it's the fact that you have a roof over your head, that is all prosperity. That is all something to feel grateful for. That is all amazing fortune that not everybody on this planet has the luxury of enjoying. I see within the sweet treat that your future self is telling you to eat the cake, eat the ice cream, do so mindfully though. So maybe cut down on the portions just in order to remain healthy, but don't deny yourself of sweet treats and things that you simply really love. You can stay in shape and be healthy while still enjoying amazing culinary sweet treats. Next up, we've got spending time with friends for you. So my beautiful Taurus babies, your future self urges you to spend more time with friends, family, acquaintances, just overall with the people who you love, that's what really matters. At the end of our lifetimes, we're not gonna remember how hard we worked for our bosses. We're gonna remember the amazing memories that we have and we're able to make with friends and family. So keep that in mind and also plan a vacation. It's time for you to take time off again. And don't just think small as in planning a little vacation for yourself. How about taking some friends or some family with you? How about going with a companion, someone with whom you get along with amazingly well? It doesn't even have to be a romantic partner. It could be a boy's vacation, a girl's vacation, just a vacation of beautiful Taurus babies. I mean, whatever you'd like it to be like, this is your life. You can shape it. And your future self feels like you're not as aware of that as you possibly could be on a daily basis. Last but not least, don't forget your health checkups, my beautiful Taurus babies. Now, that doesn't mean that anything is wrong with you. Don't panic. It simply means that it's important for you to keep up with, say, blood tests, to keep up with going to the dentist for, you know, those little cleans that you need to do with your teeth 
just to ensure that you see anything that may potentially be going down the wrong path early enough so you can do something without too much intervention, right? Just think about your teeth, for example. You prevent poor dental hygiene and health through brushing your teeth every single day. And going to a dentist just for a checkup or a clean, that is just an extension of that. That is an extension of what you do every single day to keep your body from shutting down, to keep your teeth or any other area of your body from running into serious troubles that could be debilitating and may even be really costly as well. So don't forget to keep up with those. It may seem like it's a lot of money and effort up front or right now, but trust me, you would be so glad that you went and did your regular health checkups rather than winding up in a situation where you have to fix a lot more than would have been necessary if you would have caught on to it early. So all of my beautiful Taurus babies, this is the second part to your prediction that I received for you. I hope you enjoyed it and that you loved the honesty that I brought to the table. You guys know I never pre-prepare piles and I always mention everything, even the challenges and the difficult things. So if you can appreciate that, make sure that you leave a little peach emoji down below in the comment section to let me and others know that you are here and you're in fact a Taurus baby. Thank you so much for being here and spending this magical time and space with me and I'll catch you during one of my upcoming predictions. Hello all my beautiful Gemini babies and welcome to part two of your urgent messages that your future self needs you to hear right now. So let's get straight into your reading, lean back, relax, and enjoy this even more personalized approach to your prediction. So let's get into it. We've got the cat spirit, the moth spirit, and the owl spirit. We've got a very interesting combination right off the bat for you. The cat spirit is reminding you here to reclaim your in independence, especially if you've developed codependent ties with other human beings, be it partners, romantic ones, maybe people with whom you work with, but it could also be parents. Know here in the cat spirit that your future self is screaming at you to claim that independence of yours and not feel as though you have to depend on anyone. And if you are currently depending on someone financially or emotionally, try to find ways to surrender to that, okay? To not feel like that makes you weak or someone who isn't worthy. Rather than feeling that way, work on seeing very clearly where you can cut ties and start to work on being more independent. We're all dependent at some point in life and to some degree. I mean, when we're born, we're 100% dependent on our caregivers, right? Whether those are our biological parents or whoever is taking care of us when we are infants and babies. So it's only natural to have at some point been in that state. But the older you get and the more you're able to be self-sufficient, the greater it feels to claim your independence. So make sure that you are putting yourself in a spot where nobody is taking advantage of you because you depend on them, my beautiful Gemini babies. Your future self sees that for some reason it's really important right now for you to claim your independence as a situation may turn sour and you're not going to want to be dependent on someone with whom you don't have a great relationship with. Next up, we've got the King of Acorns. Now, the King of Acorns is a very fiery person. Think to yourself a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. They have strong phallic energy, which is masculine energy. They're very innovative and always optimistic, but sometimes they can have this toxic positivity to themselves. So I definitely get like boss vibes, co-worker vibes here from whom you need to let go of, maybe even a teacher or so, just someone who you depend on professionally as well and your future self wants you to completely let go of depending on them in any way, shape, or form, and knowing that you can do things without them. The Page of Acorns shows me that it will be, of course, a process that makes you feel like you're not quite sure what you're doing, but remind yourself here that with enough enthusiasm and open-mindedness, you can do anything and you can accomplish lots without the help of someone who may end up using your dependence to their advantage and kind of abusing their power if you know what i mean next up we've got the queen of acorns we've got so much fire sign energy here what's going on my beautiful gemini's the queen of acorns now 
let's let's talk about this fire sign energy. The suit of acorns corresponds to the element of fire in this particular deck. This is the spirit song tarot deck for any of you wondering or wanting to add this deck to your collection. Now, the queen of acorns is the queen of fire, so to say. This stands for passion, creativity. And now within the suit of acorns, we only have the page, the knight, the queen, and the king that are known as the pip cards. So for you to have received all three of these out of the 78 other possibilities in this deck, right, and all in order, that the likelihood of that is basically zero. So the universe is definitely speaking to you when it comes to your passion, when it comes to your creativity, your enthusiasm, because that is what fire stands for. And also the ability to just go for it, to not overthink it. So my beautiful Gemini babies, this is definitely a stark contrast to the air sign energy that encompasses you, which can sometimes definitely live in its head rather than take action in the real world. So if you been procrastinating if you've been living in your head with a lot of the projects and a lot of the things that you've been thinking of doing you haven't actually taken those steps forward to making it a physical reality now's the time to strike your future self is telling you to go for it to stop thinking of ways how you could do it or what you may want to do in the future no do it now make sure that if you have a business idea after you've watched this video you research how you can create your own website you send an email to that attorney whom you know you need to contact to start the business proceedings if you have an idea for a blog write your first article if you want to start a youtube video write the first script of the video you'd like to shoot or just start shooting if you just shoot intuitively like i do so just taking that first step forward will really help you and your future self needs to give you this message that it's time for you to become very conscious of how you're spending your time and how much you're actually saying you're going to do something without doing it, right? If that is more time, if more time is involved in saying you're going to do something than the actual task that you're speaking of, you know that there is a part of you that simply needs to be real about that with themselves and change that type of habit. So consciousness definitely also stands for you living in the moment, becoming very aware of your emotions. And we've got surrender again. We have that notion within the moth spirit as well. So the synchronicities in your reading are really pretty wild. All of my beautiful Gemini babies, also the number three seems to be a important for you as we've got the number 13 with the cat spirit 39 with the moth spirit and 43 with the owl spirit all of them contain the number three and i definitely do also want to make you aware of the fact that surrendering doesn't only mean to kind of surrender to defeat or anything like that it's actually quite the contrary that your future self is communicating to you it's surrendering to the truth surrendering to seeing clear clearly about where you can reclaim your personal power about areas in your life in which you're doing too much talking and not enough walking and areas in which you're in your head rather than being in action and doing what you need to do next up we've got love oh, this is a beautiful card to show up for you in connectivity to what your future self urgently is trying to tell you is to always focus on love self-love and also love for others and the fact that love is part of your reading definitely shows here that if you've been worried about love in your life this is your sign to kind of exhale and remind yourself that that part of your life is taken care of and things are going to turn out just fine next up we've got fear so it's so highly important for you my beautiful gemini babies to not fear surrendering i know it can get ugly and you can sometimes feel like you haven't done enough or you've wasted so much of your time thinking of what to do rather than doing it and it can be a hard pill to swallow but this channel is all about speaking about those difficult topics and being real with ourselves and just receiving the messages in a way that they are actually 
being given to us by our future selves. You guys know I don't prepare any piles of cards. This is just how it comes. We don't remove any difficult messages on this channel. So yeah, it may be uncomfortable facing the fears, but your future self knows that it is going to be so worth it. And especially when you're feeling stressed out, make sure you hydrate. All my beautiful Gemini babies, that's one thing that I've been practicing. I bought myself a huge water bottle that I can fill up to like two liters or so. And I want you to know here within hydrate that just keeping track of how much you're actually drinking can also help with so many other things. Like if you tend to overeat or eat very unhealthy foods at certain times of the day, it could just be that you are always dehydrated at that time of the day because, you know, maybe after working out, you don't drink enough or you have a lot of meetings back to back and you kind of completely forget to stay hydrated or you're only drinking little cups of coffee or tea or something like that. So ensure here that you're not chronically dehydrated and then reaching for unhealthy foods because your body's response to hunger as well as thirst is very similar. So sometimes you may feel hungry when you're actually just thirsty last but not least follow the lunar phases follow the stars look into the stars and pay close attention to what's going on during certain times of the month for you whether it is a full moon a new moon and furthermore your future self sees that within being connected to the stars you can also connect on a deeper level to love within your life as well as becoming fully conscious of what love may look like and mean to you because love is so different for each and every one of us and there are different definitions of what healthy love looks like whether it is romantic or platonic whether it is love in a family or in a business so i can definitely see a connection here with looking to the stars the moon phases and that giving you a lot of clarity on what love means for you and what to seek out and what to keep at arm's length so all of my beautiful gemini babies this is the second part to your prediction that i received for you leave a little cat emoji below in the comment section if you made it to this second part and portion of your reading how do you feel did you like this did you find it insightful did you like my brutal honesty let me know below how my videos make you feel and just how you're doing. I'd love to hear from you, my beautiful Gemini babies. So thank you for being here and for spending this divine time and space with me. And I'll catch you during one of my upcoming predictions. Hello, all of my beautiful fellow Cancerians, and welcome to the second and even more personalized part of your prediction. Make sure that you lean back, relax, and enjoy this even more detailed approach to figuring out exactly what messages that your future self has for you that are really urgent and you simply need to receive right now so first up we've got the cat spirit which stands for claiming your independence as a cancerian you can definitely be very emotionally close to those you care most about and there can be some codependent streaks there that you are being called to look at and to believe in yourself especially if you feel like you need someone in order to lead your life successfully all of my fellow Cancerians, you are self-sufficient, you can be independent, strong, and you can do things in your own time. You don't need to depend on anyone for money, love, or confidence. You can get that all out of your own motivation and out of your own little treasure chest of skills, as well as mental resilience. The skunk spirit brings you the message of knowing your worth, and your future self urgently wants you to remember Remind yourself of that especially if you feel like you're being played romantically or ghosted in a romantic situation or even a friendship know here within the dog spirit that those who truly care about you and are meant to be in your life are going to be loyal to you and are going to be transparent about what they need from you but also what they are able to give if someone is constantly telling you that they're not ready or they're not sure or you know you can talk about commitment in the future that's not it for you my beautiful cancerians they would be loyal to you if they really knew your worth and you being around someone who doesn't know your worth definitely also shows that you may not be a hundred percent convinced about your own self-worth so let's move further into your reading 
meeting my beautiful cancerians for more details we've got the cat spirit again well just the cat which stands not only for claiming and reclaiming independence but also your intuition following your intuition in order to get to the next places in your life where you clearly need to be and believing in yourself and the fact that you deserve to make it not just everyone else we've also got the jackal here which stands for truth as well as just reality in general and the truth is that intuition matters as much as people like to say that intuition is something that can't really be proven or we can't see that may all be true but at the end of the day humans have survived and lived for hundreds and thousands of years and they have used their intuition to guide them in many instances and so do animals to this day so use your intuition in order to move forward on the right path to knowing your worth next up we've got the page of crystals now the page of crystals shows me that an important message your future self has for you is to be disciplined nonetheless so just because you're going with your intuition doesn't give you the green light to be lazy or to be flaky in tasks that require your discipline of course there are those days where you don't want to eat healthily or work out or where you simply don't feel like going the extra mile at your work and that's okay we all need those days but at the same time my beautiful cancerian babies it's important for you to remind yourself that only through discipline can you accomplish some of the biggest goals in your life because if they would be easy to accomplish you'd already have done them all there would be no discipline required and it wouldn't be a huge goal right because you could just instantly do it but big goals require discipline they require for you to work through tough times and also boring times where you just have to repeat the same task over and over again before you hit success now the ten of acorns speaks to your dedication and the fact that it is your responsibility to stay focused to stay disciplined and to cut out any procrastination that you may have been indulging in and it's important for you to know your limits and know when you're not just taking a day off because you need it but you're actually taking it because you don't want to confront some of your fears or uncomfortable truth or tasks that you know need to be done anyways if a task needs to be done and there's no way around it and you're trying to procrastinate it you're just wasting your time and your future self is definitely calling you out on it my beautiful cancerians the seven of crystals shows me that you will have amazing results pop up for you as soon as you kind of put yourself on autopilot when it comes to these tasks that you don't like doing but you know you need to that could be cleaning up that could be writing letters to someone that could be paying bills i mean whatever it is that you don't like to do try to simply get it done put yourself on autopilot zone out listen to amazing music and don't allow for it to continue to live rent free in your head your head needs all of its capacity and space for your creativity and for you to believe in yourself so this card popped out of the pile i don't know if you saw the emperor kind of sticking to my hand almost but this card definitely wanted to be part of your reading before we closed off the important messages that your future self has for you my beautiful cancerians and the emperor not only stands for focus but also stability and planning ahead so in your schedule in your itinerary plan for those off days the more that you actually have a schedule that incorporates downtime the less you will feel the need to say that you need days off when you actually haven't scheduled any days off or when you actually have a lot of other tasks to do but by already kind of accounting for days off mental health days and just days to catch up on tasks on which you're a little bit behind then that can give you a lot more peace of mind and allow you to focus because you know eventually the time off is penciled in and you've taken complete control over your mental and physical health to not burn yourself out or wait till the moment where you're begging pleading on your knees to have a day off before you actually know that you can finally take that time to yourself so self-care 
is important and you must pencil it in. That's the moral of the story. So all of my beautiful fellow Cancerians, this is the second part to your prediction that I received for you. I hope you enjoyed it and that you found it insightful. Make sure you leave a little pencil emoji down below in the comment section as a little form of manifestation and to let me and others know that you are going to pencil yourself and your self-care in. Also, how did this feel? How did receiving your two-part prediction impact your day? I'd love to hear from you. Feel free to leave that below in the comment section too. Thank you so much for being here and for spending this divine time and space with me. And I'll catch you during one of my upcoming predictions. Hello, all my beautiful Leo babies, and welcome to the second and even more personalized part of your prediction, where we figure out what all the urgent messages are that your future self has for you. So one card popped right out of the pile. I'll put a little instant replay in for you right here. Let's add further into your reading. We've got the Jaguar, the Wolverine, and hmm, what did we have here? The Owl, which stands for wisdom. So your future self has the urgent message for you to to not underestimate how wise that you are, but also use your fierceness more. Now, do we need to tell a Leo baby twice to use their fierceness? I think not, but I can definitely see here that the more you use your fierceness, the more you will feel like you've had some sort of release of energy that may have been stagnant, that may have been just sitting around and wreaking havoc for you internally. And if you never release stagnant energy, it can definitely start to accumulate and create energetic blocks that can manifest manifest into physical ailments. So ask yourself whether you spend enough time really letting out how you feel and making sure that you're getting rid of excess energy, whether that be through working out, talking to a close friend, or maybe just taking time to go on a walk by yourself all alone to reflect on your life. Furthermore, the Wolverine also shows me that an urgent message from your future self is all about you embracing your fierceness and not feeling like you are over the top as a lot of people like to say about leo babies i really appreciate the energy that you bring to the table and i personally think that that can be intimidating to some so they just simply write you off as being too much when it's actually an issue that they have because they feel intimidated and they could probably work on their self-confidence. The butterfly spirit that I can see here is the fact that your transformation is a really beautiful one externally. So you know how a lot of people's glow up can have some awkward stages and phases where beauty isn't so evident, maybe because they're feeling down and their body language is just not very radiant or their skin kind of looks lifeless and dull as they're going through transformations and glow ups with you. It's the complete opposite. It seems as though you have more energy than ever. You're shining from the inside out. And I'm speaking about beauty here and beautiful transformations energetically. So not any type of physical attributes. I'm speaking more of the internal attributes and your transformations are always so beautiful to witness. So if you've always been thinking of documenting your transformation, make sure that you do. I mean, at this point in time, a lot of us have smartphones that we can document things on, record ourselves on. So the electric eel spirit shows that you can bring that idea to life, you know, take photos and video content. Who knows? Maybe one day you're going to create a YouTube channel or a video on your channel where you show how you've documented your transformation internally, externally, as a whole, as a human being. I see within the lion spirit, which just as beautiful for my Leo babies to receive from this deck of so many dozens of cards for you to receive the lion. It shows that you're a very generous person and your future self urgently wants to say to you to be very mindful of who you share your generosity with and ensure that these are people who are trustworthy and who appreciate you and who won't take advantage of your generous heart. Sing, okay? That is important moving forward for you. Have fun singing. If you've always loved to sing or use your voice in some way, but you've kind of fallen out of love with it or not made time for it, it is officially time for you to get back into it. And if you 
don't think your voice is all that beautiful. Singing is just good for your vocal cords. It's good for you overall and your mood, whether you are a quote unquote good singer or a bad singer, but I personally don't think such things exist as all of our voices are so unique and beautiful in their own way. Next up, we've got a little health checkup for you, my beautiful Leo babies. So make sure you're actually sticking to these appointments, you know, get your regular health checkups, whether it be a blood test, whether it be going to the dentist for a checkup, whether it be a pap smear. I mean, Whatever it is that you know your body needs, whoever you identify as, be real about the needs that your body has and make sure that you go for your checkups. They may seem expensive and unnecessary if nothing is visually wrong or seemingly wrong with you, but you would be really happy to see things well in advance of them getting out of hand. Something that seems like a little simple cavity that can be treated very simply if you go in for your health checkups regularly, such a thing can very easily spiral out of control the more you put off addressing it or even making sure that you are in good health and good shape. It can lead to root rot, for example. The same goes for areas of your body where you can't really see changes, especially for my ladies out there. Without knowing, you may actually have some underlying issues. So it's important for you to do these health checkups, my beautiful Leo babies, and your future self urgently wants you to get the peace of mind that you need. Because sometimes we just need to do these health checkups so we can have peace of mind a lot of us procrastinate them while still being afraid of them and once you know everything's fine you can simply rest assured that you've done the right thing and that a year from now two years from now you're gonna go check whether everything's okay still and for those two years you can just chill because you know you did what you needed to do next up we've got rest so rest is something that you will find the more you're in tune with your body and the more that you you know that you're taking good care of yourself and the way that you really should, my beautiful Leo babies. And rest is something that your future self urgently wants you to take right now, while also making sure that you repeat positive affirmations or mantras to yourself. Whether that is, I love myself, I'm brave and beautiful, worthy and grateful. It doesn't really matter. Just overall repeating positive affirmations to yourself right now can help you immensely and can also give you the confidence you need to make those appointments or to just over Overall, step into your fierceness unapologetically without allowing anyone to make you question whether you're too much <laughs> or not. So all my beautiful Leo babies, this is the second part to your prediction that I received for you. If you're looking for some positive affirmations within a meditation, I posted a meditation video not long ago. I'll leave that linked below, but you can easily find it on my channel. Furthermore, if you made it to this point of the prediction, make sure that you leave a little rainbow emoji down below in the comment section to let me and others know that you were here. How are you feeling right now? How did you like this reading? I'd love to hear from you, so feel free to leave a little comment below about how you're feeling as well. I just simply love to hear from all of my beautiful babies of the zodiac, so make sure that you let me know how you're doing and how you liked this piece of content. So thank you for being here and for spending this magical time with me, and I'll catch you during one of my upcoming predictions. Hello, all my beautiful Virgo babies, and welcome to part two of of your prediction about the urgent messages that your future self has for you. So lean back, relax, and enjoy the second and even more personalized part of your reading as we delve into it. We've got the cow spirit, the sandipur spirit, as well as the rabbit spirit. So let's see what urgent messages we've got here. And the sandipur spirit, first off, your future self wants you to have fun and to be playful, to not take anything too seriously, because right now is truly a lucky key time in your life. And as the cow spirit states, the miracles are endless. So what that may mean, my beautiful Virgo babies, is to try to stay away from being too modest or too shy, even though naturally you're definitely not one to boast. Just have fun. Don't feel as though you need to dim your light in order to fit in. This is a great time for you to have 
fun to put yourself out there and to simply embrace all of the quirks that make you you. Next up, we've got the Ace of Shells. So an important message that we have here from your future self, an urgent one, is that happiness as well as abundance is well on its way. The Ace of Shells is also a symbol of a new relationship entering your life. This often is a card that actually foretells a romantic relationship coming into existence. We've got the Awakening next. The Awakening states renewal as well as enlightenment. So if your romantic life hasn't been where you'd like it to be, definitely know here that an urgent message you were meant to receive is to keep things cool, be playful, because romantically you've got some awesome options on their way that could be a soulmate or a twin flame. Whereas the Queen of Acorns shows me here some fire sign energy. So think Aries, Sagittarius, or a Leo energy coming your way when it comes to a potential romantic partner. They're a very passionate as well as creative person. So keep your eyes open for this situationship or full-blown relationship, my beautiful Virgo babies. Next up, we've got West. In West, I can see that an urgent message from your future self is all about purging, getting rid of anything that doesn't make you feel like it's actually adding to your life, getting rid of things that don't make you feel better about yourself at the end of the day. That could be different things just lying around your house, also clothing that doesn't make you feel your best or is kind of just ill-fitting and the stone people shows me here that there's an inner knowing that you have that you are now being called to tap into and it's all about things that are worth purging and that could make your life better if you just got rid of those things so if you open up your closet and there's like an expensive item that still has its tags on that you've never really used because it seemed like a good idea at the time to purchase it but it actually doesn't properly fit you you don't feel your best in it Purge it, get rid of it, because on the inside, you know that every time you see it, it just kind of makes you feel a little less happy about your situation. It makes you feel like you made a mistake for purchasing it. And of course, this is just a little example, my beautiful Virgo babies. But when you're constantly reminded of what you perceive to have been a mistake that you made, it's sometimes best to clear it out so you don't need to look at it every day and subconsciously feel as though you've got things lying around that don't serve you. Next up, we've got the birds which stand for freedom so your future self has this message of embracing your freedom that being very important and urgent for you to know so especially if you feel as though there is a dead end nearing in a relationship a romantic one have fun don't put all your eggs in one basket and know that there are other options you've got options my beautiful virgo babies that is the important message here and embrace your freedom for a little bit because there are are new relationship opportunities coming your way very rapidly and it's going to entail a fire sign who truly gets you and who makes you feel like you can reignite your passionate side so all my beautiful virgo babies this is the second part that i received for you i hope that you enjoyed it and that you found it insightful don't forget to leave a little turtle emoji down below in the comment section to let me and others know that you were here thank you so much for spending this divine time and space with me and i'll catch you during one of my upcoming predictions hello all my beautiful libra babies and welcome to the second and even more personalized part of your reading about all the urgent messages that your future self has for you but this part is even more detailed it's even more personal so let's get into it we've got planning a vacation as well as taking a walk so all my beautiful libra babies it is time for you now to think of your next trip and your next adventure and a great place where you can brainstorm is on a walk in nature or just simply in a place where movement is the main focus it could also be going to the gym doing something that entails physical activity but do know here within planning a vacation that this states it's time for you to change your perspective to see other cultures and cities to taste new foods to take in new scents and 
while doing that, you will be walking around, you will be sightseeing, and that is how planning a vacation is going to completely give you a fresh start and something to look forward to because there's movement and there's adventure that makes you feel as though you're doing something for yourself for once. Next up, we've got connecting with your womb. So whether you have a womb or you don't, all my beautiful Libra babies, this card states that it is an amazing time for you to connect with your divine feminine or your reproductive organs to overall also make sure that everything is healthy so don't skip any type of health checkups an urgent message for you is definitely to take a trip in order to change your perspective and just figure out what it is that you want for yourself because often we have a lot of enlightenments and epiphanies during trips when we're in another city or right when we come back because it gives us the necessary necessary distance and perspective to look at our life from a different viewpoint. Next up, we've got journaling. So your future self urgently wants you to journal as your future self can see that that is going to have a really positive impact on your life as a whole. So don't skip out on journaling, especially if you've been putting it off or it was once part of your routine and you gave it up, my beautiful Libra babies, get back into it and also feel free to connect with fire. One thing that I love to do is like burning bowl rituals i think i posted a video on my second channel where i filmed that so basically i wrote down some things i wanted to let go of i lit a beautiful fire in the woods and then i threw those pieces of paper into the fire as a symbol of letting go and also connecting with the fire connecting with all of the energy that fire comes with next up we've got autumn so your future self urgently needs to relay this message to you that it's time to release the old and rest. So not necessarily releasing the old and immediately welcoming the new, not at all my beautiful Libra babies. For you, it's about releasing old things and resting, not even thinking about what comes next, but simply just being, just meditating, releasing people and relationships that don't honor you, releasing things that are just heavy on your shoulders and your mind that you don't have any use for it could be a huge chunky piece of furniture it could be clothing that you've never worn and it still has its tags on it shoes just get rid of things and rest and enjoy your space being free and decluttered both externally as well as on an internal level next up we've got the mountains which are a symbol for you standing your ground so no matter what type of sale comes on no matter what type of amazing deal that you may find after you've decluttered and released no matter who may try to come into your life very quickly and smother you <laughs> with a lot of love try to stand your ground that it is actually a time for you to rest it's a time for you now to figure out what you want your future self can see that you just simply need to be in your own presence and enjoy that enjoy the simplicity and enjoy the fact that you've let go of some things that could now create some room for you to breathe and just have freedom and space next up we've got fear so all my beautiful Libra babies, as you all know by now, I always read the difficult and challenging cards as well. That's why I don't prepare any readings. I don't pre-prepare any cards. I want you to get all of the nitty gritty details within the reading. So if you're still here, leave a little heart emoji, a white heart emoji below in the comment section to let me and others know that you're a Libra and that you're here and you appreciate the honesty. So in fear, I can see that there's definitely gonna be a little bit of anxiety whether you truly do want to let go of some things you've held on to for a while but deep within you know that it's time for you to free yourself free your mind free your surroundings and just create more space then next up isolation popped out of the pile isolating yourself does not have to be something negative and that's one thing that we have here in isolation that your future self urgently wants to teach you my beautiful libras isolation can mean to isolate yourself from everything that doesn't serve you okay so throwing out all the unhealthy foods you have in your fridge isolating it down to only 
the healthy bits that you know make you feel good. Isolating yourself by removing any connection to other human beings where you feel self-conscious or you don't feel valued. And then that isolation is not actually necessarily just you being all by yourself, but it's focusing all of your energy on some isolated relationships that serve you. You don't need a ton of friends, you just need a few good ones. You don't need a ton of things in your home, you just need a few things that are timeless, that are high quality and useful. And there you go, you realize that there is a lot of power and freedom in simplicity and having less in your life, whether it's less stuff or less people. Of course, you still need enough, but I think you get the idea, my beautiful Libra baby. So that is the core of the urgent message that your future self has for you right here. I hope that you enjoyed the second part of your prediction and that you found it insightful. Feel free to let me know below in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for being here. I wish you an amazing day and I'll speak to you during one of my upcoming predictions. Hello, all my beautiful Scorpio babies and welcome to the second and even more personalized part of your prediction. Let's get straight into it so we can figure out exactly what urgent messages that your future self has for you, shall we? We've got the camel. We've got the goose as well as the ladybug. So in the camel, I can see here that your future self is urging for you to trust that you have the resources to get through the challenges before you. So you've saved up, you've made sure that you have also put enough energy and time aside should you need that extra energy and time to invest in yourself. Also making sure that you've put enough resources aside, not only financially, but also when it comes to keeping in touch with people creating great relationships so whenever you need something you know that you are not asking for too much if you end up needing to ask someone for support of some sort and i can see here within the goose that it's soon time for you to take time to rest and recuperate rather than continuing your striving so you ensuring that you've saved enough of your resources will help you take time to rest this will help you to just kind of lean back relax and enjoy and not constantly having to work yourself to the bone the ladybug brings you the message from your future self that this is a time of good fortune and abundance so be willing to receive all good things in your life don't say no to any awesome opportunities or people trying to enter your life you can make time for everything and everyone that means something to you the blue hair on my beautiful scorpio babies shows me here that your future self urgently wants to communicate to you to make a stand for what you believe in and do what feels right in spite of any judgment or disapproval from others. You don't need approval from others in order to do something that's important to you. You don't need anyone else to tell you that you're on the right path. If you feel like what you're doing is important and meaningful, then that is all that matters. And that's an urgent message that your future self is trying to bring to you. If you've always wanted to start your own business, trust that you can save enough resources in case there is a rainy day or a difficult situation and that you can make that wish a reality if only you ensure that you have a plan when it comes to finances but also mental resources and you continue to learn you continue to educate yourself along the way to stay on top of the trends next up we've got the jackal the jackal speaks of truth and being honest with yourself of whether you're the type of person who truly wants to stand out or whether it's just easier for you to fit in and this is definitely something that i feel is frowned upon a lot in society when people maybe just want to take the easier route of fitting in not everyone always has the emotional capacity to be able to make a stand and kind of swim against the masses or the current not everyone is always in a state or frame of mind where they can do that and that should be okay too and you got to be truthful with yourself when you're in a state where you've gathered enough energy to stand for what you believe in and do what feels right in spite of what anyone says but if you're having an off day sometimes it's also best to just keep what you're going through to yourself or keep your opinion to yourself and save the energy let me give you an example my beautiful scorpio babies if you are someone who passionately thinks that the world would be better off 
if there were, for example, no weapons, but there is a family member of yours with whom you know you can't see eye to eye with and who will kind of try to get you riled up speaking about a topic such as this and you know that it really, really depletes your energy. There's not really any point taking a stand with a person like that because it's almost like they look forward to the confrontation and their mind can't be changed, right? Or if someone feels as though they have a strong opinion about marriages and what those should look like, maybe they're more conservative or liberal and you have your own viewpoint and you know that you won't see eye to eye there, there's no point in overextending yourself to try to explain or discuss with someone who's already made up their mind because then standing for what you believe in is just simply going to be another opportunity for them to try to debunk why what you're doing isn't the right thing so be very picky and choosy in some situations it matters and in other situations there is no point putting the energy in to try to convince someone who does not want to learn anyways otherwise next up we've got the armadillo which stands for groundedness and that is an urgent message that your future self has for you my beautiful scorpio babies remain grounded don't let let anyone kick you out of balance and homeostasis know in the armadillo that the best thing you can do for yourself is to not let anyone stress you out the traveler shows me that there's a new adventure ahead of you and your future self sees it too the Traveler is all about your potential and also your ability to jump into a fresh adventure and simply go with it. Simply not know what lies ahead, but you know there's a long road ahead. You just don't know exactly where, where it'll lead to, but just taking the road, taking the chance, whether it be through starting your own podcast, your own business, maybe also taking a chance in a new firm or with a different type of study, with getting a diploma in an area that you're not very familiar with. I see within the Ace of Shells that these new beginnings will emotionally make you feel super happy and proud of yourself. But the Ace of Shells is also a symbol of a new potential romantic lover coming into your life. If you're already in a relationship, get ready for a potentially awkward love triangle situation. If you're the type of person who is just simply too nice and can't say no to a compliment and before you know it, you're kind of like in a situation where someone is getting the wrong idea of your availability emotionally speaking, but maybe that's also just a great opportunity for you to Focus on saying no, even if someone is interested in you, and focus on just like taking compliments, feeling flattered, but not feeling like it always needs to lead to something or like you always have to give everybody a chance because quite frankly speaking, you don't. If you don't feel as though you really vibe with someone, then it's completely okay for you to move on. Next up, we have the sun. In the sun, we've got vitality and joy, happiness and warmth for you, my beautiful Scorpio babies. And that is an important message that your future self wanted to bring to you right at the end of the second part of your prediction. So leave a little sun emoji below in the comment section to let me and others know that you were here. Furthermore, know here that the sun speaks of an amazing time that lies ahead of you, good fortune, as well as you being in resonance with your surroundings. So look forward to the future, my beautiful Scorpio babies, as it is prosperous and pick very wisely what battles you'd like to fight and which ones you're just going to watch from a distance. <laughs> so all my beautiful Scorpio babies, this is the second part to your prediction I received for you. Let me know down below in the comment section how you liked it, how you feel after receiving this reading thank you for being here and for spending this divine time and space with me and i'll catch you during one of my upcoming readings hello all my beautiful sagittarius babies and welcome to the second and even more personalized part of all of the urgent messages that you need to hear from your future self so let's get straight into it all you need to do is lean back relax and enjoy the second even more personalized part of your prediction first up we've got use your hands we've got meditate as well as massage so in using your hands i can see here that your future self 
is trying to urge you to do more physically with your hands when it comes to, for example, different projects. We've got a little pottery example here that may be right up your alley, but maybe you like to create other things with your hands. It could be fashion, it could be any type of art, just overall connecting your body and your mind, getting into your flow state. That's what your future self would urgently tell you to do more of in this very moment. Furthermore, booking a massage, relaxing, allowing for yourself to be pampered. How often do you give yourself a little pamper date? All my beautiful Sagittarius babies, be honest with me. If it's not at least once a month or once every couple of weeks, it's not enough. I mean, ideally, you'd set aside a day a week just for you, just in order to chill. I understand that's not possible in every situation, but that's where meditation comes into play because meditation is a great practice that can give you time every single day for yourself to recuperate and to give yourself a little bit of time for pure self-care centeredness and groundedness. But do know here within massage that your future self would definitely recommend that you get any sore areas of your body not only checked out but also pampered and taken care of next up we've got the tree people the tree people show me an urgent message that you don't want to miss within the tree people is to bear in mind here that sustenance is an important part of our existence on planet earth and also to ensure that reciprocity isn't just something that you strive for within relationships but that you try to give back to planet earth as much as you can plant trees flowers in order to help for example bees pollinate make sure that you're spending some time recycling or looking into how you can make choices that are more environmentally friendly in your day-to-day -day life. The rattle shows me here that moving forward, it is really important for you to be assertive with the things and the people who you allow into your life and your future self is urgently trying to communicate to you that it's important for a longevity in relationships to be very honest about your needs and also to tell people people when they've crossed the line. The Lodge shows me here that if you have any questions whatsoever about where to go next in life, there is some wise counsel that is nearby. Now this may be, for example, a grandparent's home or a parent's home. This could be an ex-teacher or ex-coworker, boss who you've always had a great intimate type of relationship with and you can reach out to no matter the situation. And your future self wants you to not be afraid to reach out to one of these people in order to just get a little bit of extra advice. After all, why make mistakes that some of the people you already know have made rather than learning from them immediately by simply listening to their advice. Next up, we've got the Mirror Guardian. Now the Mirror Guardian shows us that it's time for you to reflect and to make time for reflection. And that goes together beautifully with meditation and your future self is urgently telling you to reflect not only through meditation, but also through just being creative, doing different little creative projects and having fun with it. One thing that I really love to do is be creative with my sets, with my YouTube videos. I also like to journal as well as do a little bit of painting here and there. You may have completely different things that you like to do. Songwriting is another thing that I love, writing in general. These are all just little tips when it comes to taking time to reflect, using your hands and meditating. Next up, we've got the High Priestess as well as the Moon for you. So in the High Priestess, my beautiful Sagittarius babies, I can see that your future self is urgently trying to tell you to harness your mystic power because you have a lot more of it and then you give yourself credit for than you're even aware of, really. The High Priestess is all about reminding yourself here that you are more powerful than you give yourself credit for on a daily basis at least, and that you can harness that power when you need. 
and not to allow that power to kind of leak all over the place. And by leaking all over the place, I mean not putting your personal power into people who are going to abuse that privilege of knowing about your personal power or having it as part of their lives. The moon shows me to take note of intuitive messages. Now, the moon being an urgent message from your future self definitely shows here that your future self feels like you can connect with your intuition in order to know whether something's right for you. Like if you're making an appointment for a massage, if you intuitively feel like this isn't the place for you, it's in a sketchy area, maybe you feel like the massage therapist just doesn't really vibe with you and you don't love their energy, Use your intuition in order to discern whether this is a place where you would like to open up emotionally and energetically or whether you would rather continue on looking for something that suits you in a more appropriate manner. Because especially when we're dealing with other people, it's important for us to feel comfortable opening up and being vulnerable because at the end of the day, energy is something that transpires between people, animals, objects. It's important for you to ensure that you only have the most compatible energies around you when you're in a vulnerable state and you're in your zone. So all of my beautiful Sagittarius babies, this is the second part to your prediction that I've received for you. I hope that you enjoyed it and found it insightful. Let me know down below in the comment section by leaving a little moon emoji below in the comment section for me and others to know that you are here, that you made it to the end. Thank you for being here and spending this divine time and space with me and i'll catch you during one of my upcoming predictions hello all my beautiful capricorn babies and welcome to the second even more personalized part of your prediction on the urgent messages from your future self let's move straight into it so we can figure out exactly what these messages are and what your future self wants you to know at this particular moment we've got the dove spirit as well as the bee spirit to start off now the dove spirit shows me here that your future self is urgently trying to communicate to you to be at peace with the work that you've put in i see that here in connectivity to the b spirit because sweet results await especially if you've been putting a lot of work into a project or into learning studying for a test whether it is your professional life as in in an office or in a school in some sort of academic pursuit know that you've put the work in that you could and should have and now it's important for you to just be at peace wait for the results and remind yourself here that if you did the best that you could that's all you can really do don't beat yourself up about what could have or should have been next up we've got the electric eel spirit now your future self urgently wants you to bring your ideas to life to not constantly think about what could be what you should be doing or what may serve you more than what's currently going on in your life just do it if you feel like you should be working out more getting your heart rate up every single day just do it all my beautiful capricorn babies just take the time out of your day stack those habits one thing that i do when i wake up every morning these days is i immediately work out and even if i just get 10 minutes in i'm already allowing myself to be at peace with that to be proud of myself for even getting on my mat for even doing something for myself at that very moment so bring your ideas about your ideal routine and also what you ideally think is healthiest for you to life next up we've got the turtle spirit now in the turtle spirit i can see here that your future self wants to urgently tell you that slow and steady does win the race especially when you've been putting in the work and you kind of feel like you haven't gotten the results that you've wanted so being someone who is independent when it comes to work being an entrepreneur i completely understand that when you put in a lot of work you want to see results immediately but i feel like that goes with anything whether you're studying whether you're working in a job with other people a corporate job whatever your situation may be remind yourself that slow and steady wins the race and anything that is easily gained is usually also very easily lost next up we've got the snow leopard for you so all my beautiful capricorn babies the snow leopard 
shows me here that someone is watching you very intently and your future self is trying to communicate that to you. I see here within the hyena that this person is fearful when it comes to watching you and when it comes to your situation. Furthermore, in the jaguar, I can see that they are fearful of losing you. They're fearful of a release taking place, of you no longer being in the vicinity where they can access you or where they feel like a connection with you can be established or may turn into something more. So this could be someone who is crushing on you, who is watching you and is kind of fearful of losing you or you moving to a different department or part of town to a different country and losing you all together or you just overall having something else going on in your life that would make them an alternate option or make them kind of irrelevant to you. I see within intuition that you will intuitively know who this person is if you just give things a little bit of time and allow for your intuition to guide you and tell you exactly who's looking at you in this way of crushing on you, of finding you attractive and wanting to really keep you around. Next up, we've got deep breathing. So all my beautiful Capricorn babies, it is so immensely important that you keep deep breathing. Even right now, how are you breathing? Are you breathing with the top part of your lungs or are you breathing deep belly breaths? Are you allowing for your belly to expand and just simply be and expand as much as it possibly can and taking breaths and oxygen deep into your lungs and down your spine into your belly? These are all very important things that we take for granted. Just think about it. If you breathe breathe a very shallow kind of breathing pattern all day every day for the rest of your life you're going to get a lot less oxygen into your body and into your cells and you may then as a result of that feel super lethargic not have as much energy as you could have had potentially maybe even cause some sort of ailment to yourself without even noticing because you're simply not giving your body enough oxygen that is vital for it to do all of its daily functions and repairs that your body does while you're living your life. So make sure that you give your body some deep breaths, your future self wants to urgently remind you of this and make you aware of this, especially if you've taken it for granted or you just haven't even thought about it in that way. So if you made it through the second part of your prediction, leave a little bee emoji down below in the comment section to let me and others know that you were here, that you received the second part of your prediction and you're a Capricorn baby. Thank you so much for being here and for spending this divine time and space with me. And I'll catch you during one of my upcoming predictions. Hello, all my beautiful Aquarius babies and welcome to your second and even more personalized part of your urgent messages from your future self prediction. Let's move straight into it so we can figure out exactly what your future self is trying to say to you right now. So we've got the doll Dolphin, as well as the cat be happy that's what your future self is trying to tell you now that may sound easier said than done but remind yourself here that happiness in many instances is a truly a choice and the cat shows me that you my beautiful Aquarius babies intuitively know when you've maybe chosen grief sadness uh, or anxiety over happiness where happiness could have been a choice but you kind of chose to go with something else now your future self is calling you out here my beautiful Aquarius babies but that's just because your future self wants the best for you moving further into your reading we've got the jackal which stands for truth and we're being honest here throughout this reading during part one as well as part two so i hope that you're ready for some more truth bombs and i hope that you're ready for your future self to be very upfront with you we've also got the deer now in the deer it's important for you to remind yourself that the more you choose to be happy and you choose your emotions wisely, the more personal power you have and the more personal power remains yours. Just think about it, my beautiful Aquarius babies. If you are in a difficult situation with another human being and you allow for emotions that make you feel anxious, sad, or angry to stick with you for weeks or maybe even months because of a verbal disagreement that you may have had with that person, 
who has the power here really? Is it you or is it that person or the disagreement, right? So it's important for you to reclaim your power through deciding when to be happy and when to bring things back to the forefront. Just because you've got relationships that aren't the easiest to deal with doesn't mean that that has to affect you throughout your daily life and consistently be the underlying tone of your mood and your life. You can basically be in that moment with that person and feel angry, sad, or stressed but then kind of take those emotions when you're done with that person and put them away because you're now doing something else, right? You're now meeting another friend. You're now cooking dinner for yourself. You're now going out for a jog or a run. You're now watching a movie. So not allowing for negative emotions to bleed over into unnecessary parts of your life where they affect those parts of your life negatively. That is the core message that your future self has for you here, my beautiful Aquarius babies. Next up, we've got the honey bee. Reciprocity is important and to remind yourself here that while you are freaking out or angry or feeling down, that other person is living their best life. And that is especially the case in romantic situationships, right? If you're seeing someone and they aren't as responsive or as caring as you would like for them to be, remind yourself here that while you are overthinking the situation, they are simply living their life. They don't know that you're maybe suffering or expecting more from them. So if there isn't any reciprocity there emotionally in a relationship, then seek out either another relationship or learn to cut the cords of feeling so emotionally attached to another person that it affects your every day and it kind of puts you overall in a bit of a lower mood than you need to be. Next up, we've got the frog spirit. That's exactly what it's about, decluttering. That's what the frog spirit stands for. And the frog spirit is also a notion and a nod to you getting rid of things that no longer serve any purpose, also broken things. If you've got things lying around that you've been wanting to fix for a long time, whether it's a button on a shirt, whether it's the engine of your car, I mean, there are so many different things that you may want to work on. If you haven't done it in weeks, months, or even years, set yourself one more deadline. If you don't stick to it, promise yourself that you'll get rid of it. Next up, we've got the bobcat spirit. Now, my beautiful Aquarius babies, the bobcat spirit cites that life is a mystery and that being okay is what your future self wants you to learn. Now, life not having all the answers always laid out on a silver platter for you, I'm sure you're no stranger to that, but it's also kind of important for you to learn that that doesn't need to freak you out or stress you out. You can learn to live with that just fine and also to kind of find fun and humor in life just being unpredictable and reminding yourself that that's the whole point. While a lot of us feel very stressed out by life's unpredictability it is also the thing that makes life so worthwhile and makes life so interesting as a whole Ooh, okay we've got some intimate time for you my beautiful aquarius babies now i do want to keep this channel family friendly so i'll just put this card right here and remind you of the fact that an urgent message from your future self is to also clear out clutter when it comes to your romantic life and your beliefs that you have about your performance behind closed doors, okay? Simply enjoy yourself. Don't overthink whether you're good at intimate moments or whether it's something that you suck at, whether you're being judged for your body, your movements, your sounds that you make. Just enjoy, just focus on being happy and moving with your intuition of what feels right in your body. Next up, we've got flowing like water. So we basically have this flowing like water card show up just to reiterate what we just spoke about, simply going with the flow as mentioned and ensuring that you're not allowing for any thoughts that are overly critical to crowd your mind or your judgment when you're just having fun. Now. Last but not least for you, create art. That's an urgent message that your future self has for you, my beautiful Aquarius babies. 
create art by painting, drawing, maybe even molding something with your hands. Another way how you can create art is through writing songs. That's definitely something that I really enjoy, as well as journaling. So take some time for you to just create your own art. Don't rate it, don't judge it, just have fun doing it. And whatever comes out of it is better than you sitting around scrolling on your phone or being on your laptop because being in the moment with yourself and fostering more creativity is one of the healthiest things that your future self sees that you can do for yourself right now. So all my beautiful Aquarius babies, this is the second part of your prediction that I've received for you. I hope you enjoyed it and that you found it insightful. Leave a little frog emoji below in the comment section. Let me know how you like this part of your prediction. I'd love to hear from you on how my videos help you out, make you feel, and anything else under the sun, feel free to let it all out in the comment section. Thank you so much, all my beautiful Aquarius babies, for being here, and I'll speak to you during one of my upcoming readings. Hello, all my beautiful Pisces babies, and welcome to the second and even more personalized part of your prediction so we can figure out what urgent messages that your future self has prepared for you. Lean back, relax, and enjoy. I hope you liked part one of your reading, and now we'll get into part two, shall we? So first up, we've got pleasure for you, my beautiful Pisces babies, your future self would tell you right now to focus on pleasure, on having fun, and on not overthinking anything. Don't feel as though you have to make up your mind if you're in a love triangle situation or you've got options. Simply have fun and focus on your pleasure. I can see here within resting that you've been through a very stressful time and maybe overall your life has just been all over the place, so it's important for you to also take time to rest and not feel bad about it. That's what your future self would tell you right now. And pleasure, as well as rest, go hand in hand. Maybe you find a lot of pleasure in taking naps. Then take more naps, my beautiful Pisces. Next up, we've got soaking in a bath. Soaking in a bath is so therapeutic, especially if you light some candles, incense, and you add some crystals to the whole situation. This can definitely be a very transformative experience, especially if you're having a very stressful day. And your future self knows that this is a great way for you to connect to your element, my beautiful Pisces babies, to be immersed in water, as well as just to allow yourself to be energetically cleansed because in case you didn't know, taking showers and baths help clear and cleanse out any energies from your body that aren't serving you and that are just stale and stagnant. So I definitely recommend that you at least shower once a day just for those purposes. Next up, we've got the energy work card for you. I can see that your future self wants you to focus on more energy work and aligning your different chakras, especially if you don't tune into your body as often as you'd like to. So during meditation, tapping into these different energy centers is checking in with your body, asking yourself how your crown chakra feels, your throat chakra, your third eye chakra, your heart chakra, your solar plexus chakra, your sacral chakra. There's so many different meditations as well as ways to do energy work. And there are also a lot of people who offer guided classes where you can go in person and spend time with other people who are trying to do the same thing. Now we had the shapeshifter card pop right out of the pile. I'll add a little instant replay right here, my beautiful Pisces babies, but let's move into it. The shapeshifter is a sign from your future self to unveil your gifts and to not be afraid to change. Even if someone says, oh, you've changed, and they kind of say it with a bit of a disappointed undertone. Don't pay any mind to that. I see here within the medicine mother that you've got an inner knowing of when it's time for you to change and it's also time for you to grow. If you never change, then that means that you can also never grow. And people who have difficulty seeing others evolve and change usually are the ones who are holding people back and who haven't gone through much transformation themselves in a while and who could definitely benefit from it. So don't allow for those to grade you or make you feel as though your change isn't justified or isn't right. Next up, we've got air. In air, we have your creativity that's being spoken of and your future self is trying to urgently communicate to you that if you've had writer's block or some sort of creative blockage, if you are an artist or you work in a creative work environment and for some reason your creativity has been stifled 
do energy work that will really help you get back into a flow state and get your creativity back up. I see here within the conch shell that there is some sort of calling or a literal phone call with an opportunity that you're going to get sooner rather than later. And if you don't try to unblock these chakras and do some energy work, you may actually miss it because you won't be as creative as you really could be. So remind yourself here that creativity isn't just something that you do. It is a true mind-body connection that needs to be in a place where creativity can even be fostered and flow. Next up, we've got the four-legged. If you've got any four-legged animals, any four-legged babies in your life, take care of them and remind yourself of the fact that you can learn a lot from them. I mean, even just looking at your cat or your dog or any other pet that you may share your life with, there are so many ways in which they give us wisdom that we are not aware of in our day-to-day -day lives because of, you know, how technology is and how quickly life moves in this day and age, but especially their endurance and their ability to kind of always stay positive is one thing that your future self is trying to use as a source of inspiration for you. Last but not least, for part two of your prediction, all my Pisces babies, we've got the stone people. If you've made it to the this point leave a little fish emoji below in the comment section to let me and others know that you were here lastly in the stone people your future self is trying to communicate to you to believe in yourself and to understand that you've got an inner knowing and interconnectedness with the nature as well as animals. We had the shapeshifter as well as the four-legged show up for you, which are both cards that connect in a very intimate way with the animal kingdom. And the stone people just reiterates that you know internally what you need to do next in order to further your life. You simply need to channel your creativity, take enough rest so you can act on what needs to come for you in life next so all of my beautiful pisces babies this is part two of your prediction that i've received for you i hope you enjoyed it and that you found it insightful feel free to let me know down below in the comment section how you like this don't forget to check out bowlife.com for all my beautiful crystals as well as crystal jewelry and i'll catch you during one of my upcoming readings mm -hmm.